Hello, everybody. Konnichiwa and namaste. My name is Maki. I'm from Himalayas. In Nepal, I was working as environmental activist, working for nature, preserving wildlife and globally threatened species, and working for climate change. But now, I'm back in Japan. And when I came back to Japan, I met great Japanese innovation, which is very sustainable and it's very environment friendly. And I'm going to introduce you about this right now today. So please follow me and enjoy my introduction. Please watch until the last. I will have enough time for you to ask your old questions and give you right answers on live. Thank you. I am introducing about rice plastic today. It is biomass plastic innovation from Japan. We call it rice resin. The raw material for biomass plastic we use is rice. As you may know that Japan produces as lots of rice. However, this time the raw material is not the rice we eat. It is collected waste from the rice production and its industry. We use our unique technology to upcycle rice that has not been used as a feed, such as old rice, crushed rice, damaged rice, and rice that has been submerged in water due to floods and etc. We named this upcycling innovation rice resin. Rice resin is invented and produced by Biomass Resin Holdings from Japan. First, allow me to introduce the company. We are Biomass Resin Holdings from Japan. It took nearly 20 years to develop this innovation and technologies of rice resin for our CEO Kamiya and other chief executive as founders. Finally, in the March 2020, we formed a holding company as a Biomass Resin Holdings. Under its umbrella, there are operating companies for various sections and purposes. Our resin factory is located in Niigata Prefecture where it produces the largest amount of rice in Japan. That means Niigata has the largest amount of wasted rice. And it is easy and eco-friendly to bring them to our factory. In addition, we are constructing factories in Kumamoto and Fukushima. The rice resin can mix up to 70% of rice with a conventional petroleum-based plastics such as polypropylene and polyethylene. In other words, the content of petroleum-based plastic can be significantly reduced. There are two types of biomass plastics, which are biodegradable and non-biodegradable plastics. And our rice resin is a non-biodegradable material as registered now. Therefore, it is suitable for one-way use product because CO2 can be reduced significantly when burned them as a garbage waste. This contributed to Japanese government's petroleum plastic reduction target and CO2 emission reduction during initiation. However, we have been collaborating with the Kyoto University for a few years, and we will announce and introduce our very new innovation of a biodegradable rice resin in 2022. The details will be shared later. Regarding CO2 emission from non-energy sources, the rice content can be reduced during initiation compared to petroleum-based plastics. For example, in the case of a bag with a rice content of 25%, it can be reduced by about 25% when initiated. This is because rice observes CO2 during the growth, so it is carbon neutral, observing CO2 generated during initiation. On last month, September 2021, Japanese national television, NHK World, broadcasted about rice resin in our company in their program called Bitstream. You can watch it on demand on NHK World Bitstream website. Please take a look when you have some time. Now, we can watch our company film for a couple minutes to understand more about our company. Please enjoy. こんにちは。バイオマスプラスチック樹脂の製造販売を行っております。株式会社バイオマスレジン南魚沼と申します。
社会環境の劇的な変化により急速に広がる脱プラ市場に対しお米を資源として捉え海外に依存しない国産のバイオマスプラスチック樹脂製造販売を事業として展開しております現在国内外の多数の企業からさまざまな要望を受けバイオマスプラスチック市場での存在感を日増しに高めております日本国内で安定的定量的に取れるのはお米です私たちの会社は米どころ新潟県中でも有数のお米の産地南魚沼にありますお米にはくず米や菜米といった非食用米が発生しますが私どもは非食用米を原料としたバイオマスプラスチック樹脂ライスレジンの製造を主な生業としています The Japanese government and domestic companies have started steering the way towards a plastic free society Plastic free and SDGs are closely related and in the present climate It is essential for companies to embrace and demonstrate an attitude of compliance with the SDGs. As we move towards a plastic free society, goals such as the reduction of CO2 emissions are easy to measure and understand. Likewise, SDG goals such as Goal 13, Climate Action, to undertake specific measures to combat climate change, and Goal 14. Life below water to protect the richness of the ocean are quantifiable concepts. Even though some of the other SDG goals are more difficult to observe, it is important that every stakeholder, management, employees, and clients are aware of the importance of them all. The Japanese government has set a specific goal as part of the plastic material circulating strategy to introduce 2 million tons of biomass plastic by 2030 and key strategies to use biomass plastic for specified burnable trash bags. With regards to the green public procurement policy, the criteria for single use products is that they should contain 10% of biomass plastic. Our key product, rice resin containing 51% of rice, is used to produce educational toys, among others. And from October 2019, we have supplied trash bags specified by Minami Unuma City that are also made from a biomass rice resin called Rice Foam 10. Presently, corn derived plastic resin in the US. And sugarcane derived plastic resin in Brazil are the principal biomass plastics, with the aim to produce 2 million tons of biomass plastic in Japan by 2030. The battle lines for the sale of biomass plastics have already been drawn, not only within Japan but also worldwide. Our enthusiasm for producing biomass plastic here in Japan is based upon our strategic advantage of not having to rely upon imported raw materials from foreign countries. We utilize rice that can be harvested reliably and in sufficient quantity from all over Japan. We also use non edible rice that is a byproduct of rice processing, sake brewing. As well as waste rice from food manufacturers. We also make good use of the rice that unfortunately cannot be supplied to the market due to natural disaster. We intend to investigate further governmental stockpile rice or production of rice for livestock systems and make the best use of these. The key advantages of biomass resin are firstly, it is wholly made in Japan. Biomass plastic that utilizes ingredients that are all available domestically non corn, non sugar cane. Secondly, it is produced at the same cost as oil based plastics. It is cheaper than polylactic acid or bio polyethylene. Thirdly, it is inherently flexible and lends itself well to a variety of processing methods such as injection molding, inflation molding, and as a sheet molding compound, SMC. In addition, there is a predictable level of demand over time for domestically produced biodegradable plastics 
and much of the research and development work has already been carried out in collaboration with universities in order to meet the SDG 2030 goals. ま、How did you like our company video? Now I assume that you have a better idea about our company and projects. Well, here's a quiz for you. There are two maps of Tokyo. But what do they represent? Do you know what I'm trying to tell you by showing you the areas of two Tokyo? Sudden quiz can be difficult. But this is the total area of the rice field that have been giving up all over in Japan. That area about 420,000 hectare in a, such a small country. This is because the demand of eating rice is decreasing year by year in Japan. Therefore, Biomass Regime Holdings utilized these abundant cultivated lands and launched a project to produce resource rice, which is the raw material for rice resin. Currently, we are conducting resource rice in two locations in Japan, which are Niigata and Fukushima Prefecture. When we grow resource rice, we purchase the harvested rice, which increased the stable income of farmers. We believe this will also contribute to local agriculture and economy growth greatly. Growing resource rice in Fukushima, which started this year, the resource rice was cultivated in the size of three hectare paddies. The great amount of rice were harvested safely just on October 9th this year. The town of Namie is a disaster striking area that was severely damaged by the 2011 Great Earthquake of Fukushima. It's been over 10 years, but less than 10% have returned and restarted their agriculture. We hope that our resource rice cultivation will help the region to restart and rebuild. Next year, we'd like to further expand and increase the scale and the future we would like to utilize AI and DX to enable unmanned automated farming and resource rice project. By 2025, we plan to grow resource rice for rice region on approximately 10,000 hectares of abundant cultivated land in Japan. By the way, our current rice region is registered as non-biodegradable, but our joint development program with the Kyoto University have come up with a biodegradable rice regime called Neoliza. Neoliza is currently in the process of being launched in the Asian market from 2022. Now, let me introduce the products on the market that use rice resin, starting with the building blocks with a rice content of 51%. Shopping bags installed at 24,000 old post office branches throughout Japan. Municipal garbage bags for Minami Wonoma City. Rice chopsticks used at the Ministers of Agriculture Summit, and etc. In addition, rice plastic products for home and kitchen. Disposable hotel amenities such as combs and toothbrushes. SDZ's badges made of rice rice resin straw, and stationery and lunch boxes that can be used at schools. There are also bags that can be used in the various situations. At the Fuji Rock Festival, one of the Japan's leading international music events, rice resin garbage bags were certified and distributed to all the visitors. 
I actually visited and interview a mother who is using rice raisin toys with her children every day. Okay, now I'm at the Ochu family. Everybody's playing with rice plastic toy. I heard you guys like this. How do you enjoy our rice toys? Wow, that's wonderful. Old son just said it is a great opportunity to talk something about environmental issues with our kids through these toys. Do you have anything else like any like any uh, your comment, can you comment something else about it? How do you like it? Wow, that's wonderful, Arieto Zaymasu. She said uh, she feels it's safer because it's made out of rice uh, instead of like 100% petroleum based plastic. So it is great for this Otsu family. Well, thank you for having me today. Thank you very much. Please keep enjoying your this rice toys. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Domo. Our business have received high praises from various ministries and agencies of government of Japan. As an example, the Ministry of Environment, the Ministry of Economic, Trade and Industry, the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, and etc. With these corporation, we plan to set up rice resin manufacturing plants all over Japan. We're planning 10 locations such as Hokkaido, Hokuriku, Kansai, and Kochi by 2025. We also plan to start setting up factories overseas from five countries. China, Vietnam, Thailand, Singapore, and Indonesia, where we have the same rice culture with us. Our slogan is innovation for tomorrow, not for the distant future, but for solving tomorrow's plastic problems. We're looking for partners to join us on a journey to change the world with the rice resin. Our goal is to have a contribution, plastic innovation for tomorrow, last well into next century. We at Biomass Region strive to be an environmental venture company that brings people across the world together through mutual recognition and collaboration. In addition, at the virtual pavilion, we are exhibiting at Rural. Please come and visit our booth. Thank you very much for your attention and watching my presentation. I hope you liked it and I hope you really understood about rice resin and this new innovation from Japan. Please join the Q&A session at Pavilion. I'll be there and see you shortly. Thank you.